Chapter 27, Kachuga Boop. The ultimate test was over and nobody was sent back to kindergarten. Mrs. Jules had made up the test so that every one of her students had a chance to shine using his or her special talent. Anyone with nail clippings? She asked. Myron came to the front of the room and dropped 37 clippings into the nail bucket. 19 came from toes and 18 from fingers. He started to do the math on the board. 999,962 plus 37 equals 9. He was suddenly startled by a very loud kachuga boop. He dropped the chalk. This was a bell nobody in the class had heard before. Not even Mrs. Jules. Then came another kachuga, followed by two boops. What's it mean, Mrs. Jules? shouted Leslie. Everybody keep calm, said Mrs. Jules. Kachuga boop, boop, boop. Mrs. Jules hurried to the back closet. It started up again. Kachuga boop, kachuga boop, boop. Mrs. Jules threw open the closet door and started tossing books and supplies out of the way. Kachuga boop, boop, boop. She finally removed a very large book covered with dust. The Complete Guide to Bells, said Terence, reading the book's title over Mrs. Jules' shoulder. Mrs. Jules sat on the floor, turning the pages until she got to the index. The kachuga booping continued, making it difficult for her to concentrate. She found it. Kachuga Boop, page 297. She quickly turned to that page. Suddenly, a loud boom shook the classroom. The lights went out. This time, nobody screamed. They were too scared. Mrs. Jules lit a candle. In the flickering light, she read aloud from page 297. If you hear a kachuga followed by one, two, and then three boops, you should... She stopped and blew a cloud of dust off the page, then tried to find where she had left off. One, two, and then three boops, you should run for your lives. A cloud of doom is about to destroy everything. She dropped the book. Everybody, outside, she ordered. Another boom shook the classroom so hard that the clock fell off the wall. The children ran to the door, but it wouldn't open. The paperclip closet must have fallen over, said Damien. It's blocking the door. Paperclip closet? asked Mrs. Jules. She glared at Jason. Sorry, he said. Jason couldn't keep a secret. Todd, Mauricia, Damien, and Allison all pushed together, but the door wouldn't budge. Let Stephen in there, urged Kathy. He's been doing all those pushdowns. With Stephen's help, they pushed the door open. Sirens wailed from the closet, which lay on the ground. A smoke screen filled the area. In the light of Mrs. Jewell's candle, they could see that the chains and steel bar had been shattered. Paper clips were strewn all over the floor. Benjamin and Rondi started picking them up. Leave them, shouted Mrs. Jules. Now they knew it was serious. Mrs. Jules told everyone to hold hands as she led the way down the staircase. Paul grabbed Leslie's pigtail. What are you doing? She demanded. It's either that or your hand, he said. Okay then, Leslie agreed. The kachuga booping continued as more loud booms shook the school. A gust of wind blew out Mrs. Jewell's candle and the class continued down in darkness. Joe stepped on a skateboard, which somebody had left in the middle of the stairs. He fell, pulling John down with him. Who pulled down Dana? Who pulled down Jenny? Who pulled down Rondi? Who pulled down Terence? The chain reaction ended with Damien pulling down Mrs. Jules. The class lay sprawled across the stairs as the school shook around them. We're doomed, Mac wailed. Look, exclaimed Bibi. A door had opened and there was a light coming from inside a classroom. A teacher stood in the doorway. Quick, come inside, she beckoned. You'll be safe here. 
She had a long fingernail on her pinky.